Welcome to the Knowledge Minute on manual priming of the MX EPA 2013 and later. Begin the process by bypassing the blend valve on the top of the chassis mounted fuel filter, either by turning the manual valve or by using the blender bypass kit someone in your shop has probably already created. If your shop has not created a kit, this is all you need. There are three primary things to remember to successfully complete a manual prime on the MX-13 and MX-11 engines. First, the hand priming pump has a small displacement, so it will take many pumps to prime the system. Get comfortable before you begin. Secondly, like most pumps of this type, the efficiency of the pump decreases as the pumping speed increases. Take it slow and the priming job will actually go faster. Finally, if the chassis mounted fuel filter is equipped with a blender valve, it is essential that the manual valve be put in the prime position. Or, if the blender is not equipped with a manual valve like most older models, it must be bypassed. If you do not bypass the blender, You'll be pumping for a very long time, and you'll probably set codes when you try to start the engine. Pump 50 times, pause for a moment, then pump 50 times more. Before you get all the way to 100, you will feel increased resistance in the pump. This is a sign you are getting close. After the 100 pumps are complete, let the system rest for a moment, give it 10 more pumps, and immediately start the engine. Now crank and start the engine. Once the engine starts, it is extremely important that you do not rev the engine above idle. The reason that you had to prime the engine is that fuel was not in key parts of the system that depend on fuel for proper lubrication. Allowing the engine to idle reduces stress on any components that may still be dry. Allow the engine to idle for five minutes before shutting it off. The truck is now ready for a test drive or to be returned to the customer. Best of all, by following this procedure, no codes were set. If your truck was equipped with a blend valve, be sure to return it to its normal configuration.